KKL 9 political reporter Tom Waite shows us where things stand. President Biden said he wanted to work with Republicans on this next round of COVID stimulus, but he said he wanted to go big and he did not want the talks to stall. Republicans say this new bill is wasteful. Tonight, President Biden arriving in Delaware, his first trip aboard Air Force One as president. Mr. Biden spent the day and evening selling the Democrats' latest COVID stimulus package. Middle class folks need help. President Biden spoke with CBS Evening News anchor Nora O'Donnell in his first interview since being sworn in about who will likely be eligible for the stimulus cash. It's somewhere between an individual making up to 75 and phasing out and a couple making up to 150 and phasing out. But you don't need to get any help to someone making 300,000 bucks or 250. Mr. Biden's nearly $2 trillion plan includes $160 billion to expand COVID vaccine testing and vaccine programs. It increases and extends unemployment benefits from mid-March to the end of September, and it provides lower and moderate income Americans with $1,400 in direct aid. The president said the size of those checks is non-negotiable. I'm not cutting the size of the checks. They're going to be $1,400, period. That's what the American people were promised. The additional help can't come soon enough for Kimberly Cunningham of Los Angeles, who lost her job as a flight attendant. Emotionally, I, I try to stay positive and, you know, keep my head up high. You know, I have God on my side. Financially, it's, it's a shipwreck, but, you know, you manage. You manage. I keep saying I'm an unemployment check away from being over there by the freeway. Biden has been under pressure to fast track help. And today, a disappointing jobs report showed the economy is still in big trouble. Mr. Biden argues the counter proposal offered by Senate Republicans does not go far enough at about a third of the price of the president's plan. We're being asked to spend another one point nine trillion dollars to deal with the coronavirus pandemic. And yet we have no idea how much of the nine hundred billion dollars that we just enacted five and a half weeks ago has gone out the door. They're using this phony budget to set the table to ram through their one point nine trillion dollar rough draft. Veteran Los Angeles County leader and UCLA professor Zev Yaroslavsky says Biden showed signs of wanting to compromise, but says Biden has also been down this road before. He was vice president when they tried to do the Affordable Care Act in 2009. And the Republicans, uh, you know, kind of slow walked it and uh, you know, pretended like they wanted to negotiate and talk, but uh, but never did. Ultimately, the battles in Washington impact the most basic and important parts of life here at home. Charlene Perez of Orange County. I'm kind of struggling because I got bills to pay too, and my car needs fixing. The bill is already moving through Congress. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi says she expects it to pass in the next two weeks. I'm Tom Waite, KCAL 9 News.